love, but I ain't in love unless it's that white girl, that thick girl, that nice girl that treat me real right, girl. I'm in the kitchen and whipping it, then I bag it and pitch it. After I have it, I'm flipping it all night, girl. Yeah, yeah. We are back. Good afternoon. Another one, another one. Um, how you feeling today, buddy? Hey, every day is a good day. Yeah, can't I'm complain. Good. You know, good. you know. Ask the Marcy here. Your main man Bones from the NYC. Yeah, and um, I had something on my mind where. It's not that more so on my mind. I was thinking about it because somebody said to me um, months ago, sometime last year, and they was just saying, like, how these kids is being raised and they blame their parents and all this stuff like that. And I kind of, like, strongly disagreed that the parents is to blame for the kids messing up. Yeah, I, I, I totally disagree with that because... You have to go to social media. You have all these social platforms. That's just—it's just too much for these kids. The more they try to decipher it and ingest, it just makes them more crazy. Right. And it's just—it's a sad situation because the parents can't police everything they do because they have tablets, they have phones, they have watches, they have any—you know—they have more access to stuff that we never thought was possible. You know, I never thought you can do all the things you'd be able to do with a phone. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I, listen, I'm not going. I'm not going to argue that. Um, me, like, I agree with you there, but like, it's, it's like not but, but um, I think the world is too open. Meaning, like, it's like yeah. they don't hide nothing. They they not trying to protect the kids. Yeah. They just like it's like they showing the kids all the wrong stuff, but want the kids to make a, a better decision themselves. Right, but see, they, they, I want to say they're sheltered, but they're not really sheltered. They're more, uh, they're not even entitled. I don't even know the word to put to this right at the moment. Right, but wow, it's just yeah, because like people, people think your parents ain't raised you right. Right, and like it, it's not that the parents didn't raise them right. They raised them right. They just listened wrong. Right, and they they. Mi- they no choices. Yeah, they heard, they they was told something, but they heard something else. Right. And like, I don't blame I don't blame no parent you can't. on how they raise their kids. Not nowadays, because nowadays these kids is they they looking for an idol, and the idols is uh the ones carrying guns and killing and all that stuff. Yeah. Like 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 I don't even. It's like I yeah. wouldn't that I don't idolize stuff like that. No, these, like. That's what they're pushing out there. That's what they're pushing out there in the media. Right. You know, they, they want us to go out there and buy all these flamboyant things. They don't want us to go out there and get an education. Right. You know what I mean? They don't. They rather really see us in the fifteen hundred pair dollar kicks and think that's cool. Right. Right. You right. Know? And it's like it's like, but like me, I think my first thing is like, who I who like my first. If I had to point the finger, mm-hmm. I'm pointed at the radio. Yeah, I gotta point it there first because uh, I concur, they be yeah. playing all these kill you, murder yeah, you, yeah. rape you, uh, throw you off a building, run you over, lay you on a track. It's all that shoot them up and all that. And then again, you made a valid point. Lisa does not forget the video games. Yeah, the this, video. Yeah, but the video game. Yeah, that's true too. But especially, but. especially the one. For, one person shooter games. Those are the ones. No, but no, no, but listen. Let me, let me, let me back off that. Let me back off that because where where you was going, no, where you just went, mm. I I was going somewhere similar to that. Right. So I I gotta argue your argument because yes, it is the video games, but listen to this. It always been gangster rap. Gangster rap always been around. But remember back in the nineties, mm-hmm. if you went to hear gangster rap. You had to have the money to go get the CD. Right. And you can't hear it free on the radio. Right. Everything's available. You might hear one song like, you might hear Big Warning on the radio, but the words has changed around a little oh, bit. Yeah. But if you want to hear all the violence, right. that's side B. Free. You yeah, got to spend yeah. $16. Right, right. And, and so, like Grand Theft Auto, okay, violent game, whatever. Yeah, whatever, shoot them up, bang, bang. That game costs $65. Yeah. And the parents... They ain't are- just giving, like... The cartoons ain't shooting them up on, on TV. I mean, the boondocks, I don't know what they come on. 
uh, Cartoon Network, or maybe that comedy, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know, I know they talk a little reckless on there, but look at the time. I mean, I know Beavis and Butt, they, they was cursing and all that stuff, and South you know, they was they was beating each other up. They was just hurting each other. It was kind of funny, but mm -hmm. like it's it's I I can't blame no parent. No, can't you can't. No parent. Absolutely not. There's too, too many too many factors in it. Like it's it's decisions people make. It's decisions you make because because like not to like personalize it for myself, but like as far as like my living situation, like like when I was younger and coming up under different people households, and it wasn't my own parents' household. Right. I ain't turned out like that. No. I could have said, mm -hmm. well, my parents ain't together and mm -hmm. I don't live with my parents and been out here knocking people over and all that and using mm -hmm. that as an excuse. Mm -hmm. There ain't no excuse. It's what you're trying to be. Mm -hmm. See, me, I didn't have to learn off my mistake. I learned off other people's mistakes. Hey, yes, you should. You should learn off other people's yeah, mistakes. I don't, listen. You shouldn't make the same mistake that guy just made. That, right. That makes no sense at all. Right. My whole thing is, listen, by, by accident... <laughs> Luckily. I made a mistake. Luckily. <laughs> I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And I spent five months in prison, right? Mm -hmm. Five months in prison. Only five. Okay. The prison life is the worst. Like yeah. it's not that it's not that Now was the, it prison prison or was it county? It was the county. Okay, that's worse. I ain't wanna even go to the county. I, that was prison. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if I'm behind bars, I don't give a damn what you name it. It's prison to me. Can't go home. Yeah. Can't go but home. That's it's, yeah. it's, it's not. The guards raping you or right, right, right. the people beating you up because I had no problems in jail. My joint was smooth selling. Right. It's being told what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And if you don't do it now, you ain't never getting it done. Right. Motherfuckers say, get up at 7 o'clock. If you don't get up right now to eat, you ain't eating until 11.30. Right. You just missing breakfast. Yes. Yeah, and they don't care. And I'm looking, right? And now, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to get a little sentimental here, right? <laughs> So ahead, I was bro. in I was in I was in jail, right? I was in jail, right? And Nothing. you know the worst thing that ever happened to me while I was in jail? What's that? My daughter was born. Oh Lord have mercy. Sorry to hear that. My daughter was born. That's tragic. Like I, something told me to some something told me to call her mom. I'm like, I said, call her mom. Mm -hmm. I call her mom. Her mom answered the phone and she was like, I'm in the hospital pushing her out. Her head is hanging out halfway out. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but this is where I hold her mom like at fault. You should have put the phone down and put it on speaker and let me hear. Right. She wanted to get off the phone. Yeah. But that right there told me, I'm never going back to jail again. Right. Absolutely. My daughter, who I love more than anybody, mm -hmm. I had to be in jail while she was born? Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. And then I used to sit at the window, right, and be like, damn, like, like before my daughter was born, I'm like, damn, my boys down there, they, you know, they chilling, whatever, doing what they doing. Um... My nieces, my nephews, I'm like, they down there, like, they two miles down the road, and I can't get to them? Yeah, that's a terrible situation. Yo, it was just all messed mm -hmm. up. Whoa. So I, I chose, I chose, I learned off other people's mistakes and from my my, my mistake. Like, right. that, like I don't know how people go back and forth to jail, because I feel like if you, yeah. if you go back and forth to jail, yeah. you're selfish to your kids, though, because you're missing all that time in your kid's life. And, yeah, and, that's not and cool. God willing, God willing, mm -hmm. when my daughter was born, I only had... Seven more weeks to go. No, yeah, seven more weeks to go, and I came home every other weekend on a furlough. Wow. Well, yeah. So, cool. yeah. but other than that, I was able to raise my daughter for the rest her of birthday time. is month, uh, uh, late March. Mm -hmm. She'll be seventeen. But I, you know, but to more to to, to go back to the, the, back and the forth. household, John. Yeah. No, I'm saying like the household where the parents is the oh, fault. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't get that because I don't. I agree with you because I don't. You can't fault the parent. Mm -hmm. You just can't. There's too many, too many different factors involved, you know. Cause do the and, do the parents make kids sneak out the house or they sneak out the house? Yeah, we snuck out. We knew what we was doing, so that's the difference. When we were coming up, we knew right from wrong. It was instilled in us, you know. If we made a decision, then we knew there was consequences to our decisions. Our parents held us to a certain standard. You know, that's just how it was. You just wasn't going to run ripshaw. Yeah. If you're going to live in this house, you're going to buy it by the roof. That's just how it was back then. Goddamn right. You know, they didn't play that, uh, well, let's sit down and talk about it. Let's have a comment. No, it was no conversation. It was this or nothing. And, and we and we understood that and respected that. And don't let the people nowadays get confused when that when you just said mm -hmm. you're going to live in this house. If you're going to live in this house, you're going to buy by the rules. Oh, I'm going to leave. No, the hell you ain't. Right. 
It wasn't no leaving. There ain't no leaving. You didn't have no choice. You ain't got no choice. You gonna live by these rules. Right, you have no choice. Oh, you don't want to eat dinner? Fine. You go to bed hungry. You yeah. get up in the morning to see you for breakfast. Right. And then, and then you know, my, my brothers and sisters, they'll tell you, like, you, you somewhere being bad and all that, my mom gonna whoop your ass where you at. She gonna make you pull your pants down and whoop your ass right there. I remember she whooped me from... <laughs> <laughs> She whooped me from She whooped me from Green and Chestnut Down to damn near Green and Airy Back to where we lived at Oh man Like I'm talking about The whole, whole Help me uh-huh. By like the wrist uh-huh. And phew, Take that phew, Take that one too right. Oh take that Oh you trying to cover your ass up phew, Take that one too right. Bro daylight Bro, it Don't matter Police ain't say nothing back then Yeah whoop his ass some more for me I got one even better for you Bro Back in the day Shout out to PS84. You know how we do back in Queens. No doubt. Shout out to y'all. You know what I mean? So we, we up in, up on the top of the hill, you know, and my brother acting crazy. Yeah. You know, didn't realize that mom was short to school. <laughs> yeah. We in a lunchroom, bro. Mom beat him in the lunchroom in front of everybody and politely walked past the teachers and went home and told him to fix his face and go sit down and have dinner, finish his lunch. Yeah. See, that's the kind of things, you know, I think parents today are afraid to scare their kids. I don't want you to be to scare them to the point to where it's respectful. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just don't let them think they get they can say anything. Yeah. A child has to own a child's place. Until we start letting them know that and stop compromising and coming to an agreement. Right. No, you're the you're the adult. You make that decision. But you also but but Depending and, on the age. No, no, I'm no, I'm not arguing you yeah. there. I'm just I'm I'm putting more on what you're saying. Gotcha. You also you also have to be not only in your kid's life, mm-hmm. but you have to be active. When I mean active, you gotta like build that relationship. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. You have to build that relationship. You have to build that bond. Like you allow to be a parent. like like for instance, me and my daughter, mm-hmm. we father and daughter. Mm-hmm. But we best friends. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So we got a we got a father daughter relationship, mm-hmm. but we got a that's my best friend relationship as well. Right. So she don't really she don't give me she don't give me no she don't give me no problems. That's super cool. She she can't, she, she can't ask when, when she get good grades, she normally be proud of her. So she sent them to me. Here, Dad, and I text her back, baby. I'm proud of you. I love you. Mm-hmm. As you should. Yeah, that's yeah. my baby. Reinforcement. Yes, sir. And yeah, but it's 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 so back it's, to what it's, you it's, said. it's this social media stuff, like yeah. you said, it's this social media stuff. Like they like it's just like something now. TV is playing inappropriate stuff. Yeah, it's just and society as a whole has become soft. Yeah. Right. You know you had to stay up at night, late night, on the weekend to see right. the appropriate stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell you something from the, from back in the day stuff. I remember when television went off. There was no such thing as television was on 24 hours a day, bro. Right. Yeah. I, I remember back in the day, at 12.01, that thing, the Star yeah, Spring Yeah, we had to set a timer. Yeah, you had to put your, yeah, we had to, when it got newer, right. yo, you got your timer on. Right. So that joint go, and you know, when it, once right. it go off, don't turn it back on. Right. Only time you could turn it back. Only time, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Only time an individual would let me turn it back on mm. or keep it on if I was woke. Like meaning walked in the room and I'm wide awake. Right. And you know. Yeah, but, let you do. Yeah, I get yeah, that. let you yeah, do. Yeah. But you know, they all that falling asleep with the yeah. TV on. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. But they take the TV out your room first. Yeah, ain't but, going on. yeah. I, I don't really think it's not. It's like it's people trying to fit in. They trying to be like somebody else and. All this other like this weird stuff that's going on and like like these like these young like these young people these young like rappers they need to stop like like sometimes the old heads do be hating on them but they need to stop always thinking the old heads hating on them because the old heads done been through that stuff so they trying to give y'all the real game right like like for instance like like let me slip the example like. Let me see. You, matter of fact, you ever see interviews when rappers, like new, older rappers, be like, "Yeah, yeah, I, I did that back then, but I wouldn't do that now. Right. If I could go back, I would. I'm right. not like they. They giving you. They letting you know. You, you, you don't need all. to do. You yeah, don't need to yeah. do all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just say, "Forget that now." Right. And move on. Just because you don't rap about gangster rap, don't mean you a punk. Right. I'm man. Listen. You mean to tell me? 
every R&B singer is soft? I, I don't think, think so. I don't think so. I don't think... If you say the music's soft, okay, cool. But I got, I'm quite sure they'll whoop somebody's ass. If they had to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Just, I mean, I, like I said, I don't blame the parents. Absolutely not. Parents, y'all doing good jobs. Yeah, the and, ones that's active in the kids' life, the ones that's teaching the kids right from wrong, and doing the best to guide these kids down the right path. Facts. But if you're a parent and you think it's cool because your son carry a gun and and all that, and people terrified of him though, like, like what, yeah, that's not good though. Like it's not. No. And piggyback off of him, stay in their lives. You know. Be a pain to them. I know, you might not get it, but be a pain to them. They'll be here with you forever. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Be a pain to them. Let them know that you, you're you going to be there for them no matter what. Yeah. You're going to love them. Yeah, so is that about wrap things up or you got some up you want to get off your chest? That's about it, my man. You think so? Yeah, fam. I don't know, I, I man. think, man, because, you know, you hit it on the head because everybody want to blame the parents. You can't blame the parents. No. You can't. Mm -hmm. After a certain age, you can't blame the parents. No. You know? And it's like... It's a sad situation. Until until we as a society understand that all the stuff that we're pushing on our kids is too much. Right. And they can't handle it. They're not strong enough or mentally strong enough to handle what, the, what we're putting on them. Right. It's going to be a lot of bad things going down. And hopefully not. Hopefully not. We pray not. Yeah, we don't want, we don't that. want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't, we don't ever look for the bad. We always look for the good. So parents, love y'all kids. Kids, Hug love your parents Absolutely. and respect them every day. And we love y'all. And be safe out there. We lay it up loud because we stay high. Getting at this money to stay fly. Y'all love the hate, I couldn't say why. Try to take this money, I'm shooting like AI. Who we sit around here, say I. Permission to get rich, mother may I. All seven days, I carry the tray five. Try to take this money, I'm shooting like AI. Hundred grand at the dealer. Plotting on that I-8 I can move a bird in a week Long as it flies straight Niggas be having that garbage That's why I taste Internet base I could've moved it on MySpace